With warm weather now upon us, we know you're eager to go outdoors and into the waterways. Before you hit the water, Cal OES wants you to stay safe when recreating outdoors. Here are a few things to be aware of, especially when visiting the water. Some of the things you might see after a lot of these storms and uh, into the, the summer months, especially with a lot of the nutrients that's come in with the surge of water, um, one of those things being the, the woody debris. So the, the woody debris coming into these lakes, definitely to say that you might have a little bit every year, especially after these kind of winter storms, but with the large influx of the, the winter storms, the debris flows and everything that came in, you're seeing a lot more um, vegetative debris out in the water. So definitely something to look out for um, and just to make sure that you don't get snagged yourself or your boat or with a, a lake that might have a dam. While obstacles like rocks and debris can lurk underneath the water, there could be other more visible hazards living on the surface. Due to the record rainfall earlier this year and now rising temperatures, conditions have created the perfect storm for algae blooms. One of our more hidden dangers that are in our lakes, it's known as blue-green algae, um, also known as cyanobacteria. What could be a harmful algal bloom, um, which causes the different, different types of toxins in our water. Although not all algae species are considered harmful, some can be toxic to humans and animals. But if you ingest it into your system, it being a neurotoxin can cause things like convulsions, vomiting, diarrhea, same thing with that, those liver toxins as well. Um, you'll start to see somebody that looks like they have a cold or a, or a flu um, coming hours after, after the water. Mostly you're dealing with your pets uh, is the big issue here. Uh, your pets are the ones that are out in the water, maybe even little kids that are drinking the water, they're getting it all over their fur, and your pet might come back to the beach, start to lick that stuff off of them, and that's where it gets into their system and can cause uh, a lot of issues. Remember the best way to avoid danger is to listen to safety advisories and signage, and listen to authorities. If you, your child, or pet do come into contact with affected water, you should proceed with caution. The best way to prevent getting sick uh, once you get out of the water, make sure you rinse yourself off right away, your hair, your clothes, everything like that. And uh, that would be the best way to avoid yourself from getting sick. Before you head out to any body of water, remember to keep these important safety tips in mind. Know before you go. Prior to leaving your home, check the status of the park unit or waterway you want to visit to find out what restrictions and guidelines are in place. Know the water. Do not enter cold, fast-running water. It can be dangerous not only to you, but also for first responders. Know your limits. Swimming in open water is more difficult than a swimming pool. People tire more quickly and can get into trouble. Know about life jackets. Although life jackets are strongly recommended when creating in or near waterways, this year's expected high runoff in rivers can be dangerous, even with the use of life jackets. Know how to supervise. Actively supervise children in and around open bodies of water, giving them your undivided attention. Appoint a designated water watcher taking turns with other adults. To see more from us, go to news.caloes.ca.gov and follow us on all our social media platforms.